Kol Halayim La Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakaf Dash. Double honor to the elders and the fathers of Great Millstone who rule well and peace and blessing to Hophelay. His brothers, Shalakia. This lesson is going to be about um, hate towards the men of the Lord and ultimately hate towards the Israelites, man. Even these two thirds. These two thirds are going to go against the hopeful elect. So I'm going to scroll up. Proverbs 8, man. Proverbs 18, Salakia. Proverbs 18 and 1. Through desire, a man, having separated himself, seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. So separating us, ultimately, from this society, man, Esau society. We're not into this, the nigga woman is God, and all this other madness that Esau is the, the root cause of, all right? We have been renewed through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man, to to gain the greatest wisdom, all right? Verse 2. A fool hath no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. When the wicked cometh, then cometh also contempt, and with ignominy reproach. Let's go into the strongs for that word right there. Ignominy, shame, disgrace, dishonor. And you Edomites, man. You Edomites are ignominy, and you two-thirds are as well. All right? And the rest of you heathens. The words of a man's mouth are as a deep as, are as deep waters, right? And the wellspring of wisdom as a flowing brook, all right? So out of the mouths of the elect, all right, the hopeful elect is wisdom, all right? Verse 5, it is not good to accept the person of the wicked to overthrow the righteous in judgment. And that's what's been happening temporarily on this earth. Esau Edom has compassed the righteous. Right? The wicked has compassed the righteous in judgment, but now the tables have turned due to Rakal Kadash, the Holy Spirit sent by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah in El Hayim. All right? Let's scroll down. Verse 8, verse 7. A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are the snare of his soul. And that's right, man. You got to watch what you say and who you're talking to, first and foremost, man. First and foremost, who you talking to? Because talking to someone like a, an elect man is not going to give you the same repercussions if you're talking to somebody like an Edomite or a two-third, man. And even in the elect, there's an elect of the elect of the elect. And what do I mean by that? You have the 144,000. And inside that 144,000, you have the disciples. And inside that, you got King David, because King David was what? Simon Peter. So there's an elect of the elect, all right, of the elect, okay? Um, so yeah, man, you got to, you, you talking crap to to one of the elect versus talking crap to a two-third, you know, your repercussion is going to be different, you know? An example, you, you could go up to a peasant. You know, beat him up, take his food. You might get away with it. You go up to a noble, and you even touch him in the wrong way. You getting a black eye, man, and a missing tooth. Same concept, man. Verse 9. He also that is slothful in his work is brother. He also that is sloth slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. Let me hold on. He also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. Let's go into the strongs for that word brother right there, man. Because just reading that kind of threw me off.
a brother relationship. All right. So it can just be somebody you're really close with or biologically related to. Right. Let's go to verse. Verse 14, the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit who can bear. And that's right, man. All right. If you wounded in spirit, man, it's, that's worse than the actual, you know what I'm saying? Losing the finger. Because the spirit is stronger than the carnal. Verse 15, the heart of the prudent getteth knowledge and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge, man. So people that truly want to level themselves up in the ways of righteousness on the right hand side all right will receive that now esau edom on the left hand side has left hand knowledge but the ultimate knowledge on the right hand side now on the left all right good is greater than evil let's get to hit up Give me a moment. All right. See where I went wrong. It's all right. Amos chapter 5. Scroll up to the top. Amos 5 and 1. Hear ye this word which I take up against you, even a lamentation, O house of Israel. The virgin of Israel is fallen. She shall no more rise. All right, and it's talking about the Israelites, man. She is forsaken upon her land. There is none to raise her up. That's right, because we fell from Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. He turned his back on us, man. Because we, we sinned. Verse 3. For thus said Yahweh thy power, the city that went out by a thousand shall leave a hundred. And that which went forth by a hundred shall leave ten to the house of Israel. So they are going to decrease. But guess what? We're going to end up as the sand of the sea. For thus said Yahweh unto the house of Israel, Seek me and ye shall live. Man, that's what the whole full elect is doing. Man, two thirds not going to seek shit for destruction and, and wickedness. But seek not Bethel, nor enter into Galgo, Gilgal, and pass not to Beersheba, for Gilgal shall surely go into captivity, and Bethel shall come to naught. And that's that replies to Esau Edom too, man. All right, these 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 Jake Jake is depending on Esau, man. Jake think Esau is gonna save him, man. Jake Jake is retarded. <laughs> Jake, these two thirds are literally retarded, man. Um, verse six: Seek Yahweh, and ye shall live. Seek seek Yahweh. And ye shall live, man. Seek Yahweh and ye shall live. Is plain. Not seek Esau. Not seek these heathens. Not seek Egyptology. Not seek woman is God. Seek Yahweh and ye shall live. Lest he break out like a fire in the house of Joseph. And devour it and there is none to quench it in Bethel. Right? Let's scroll down. Verse 10, they hate him that rebuketh at the gate, all right, and that abhor him that speaketh uprightly, and that's what we're doing. We're telling Jake their sins. we telling Jake they're going off. We give him the truth of the Holy Scriptures. we tell telling they the 12 tribes, and they rebuking it. They don't want to hear it, man. They want to be harlots. They want to smoke dope. Uh, what else? They want to fuck. They want to fuck other dudes, women. They want to fuck other dudes. These women want to fuck other women. They want to. Uh, they want to be under Esau's foot. That's what Jake is, man. Jake retarded. <laughs> Jake is mentally disabled, man. No, no joking, man. No cap. All right. And that's why what? Um. Uh, let's get it. 
Listen, what's gonna happen to Jake, man? Let's get that. Let's go back. Let's go back. Ama six and one. Woe to them that are at ease in Zion. That's what these two thirds, they at ease, man. But they not being at ease now, man. It's heating up. And trust in the mountains of Samaria, man. I, I can apply to these fucking Edomites. And these other heathens, man. Mainly Esau. Which are named chief of the nations to whom the house of Israel came. All right? Speaking of that, man. Oppressor. Proverbs 3 and 31, envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. And Jake, Jake choosing the ways of Esau, man. Pablo Escobar and all them, them famous Northern King and drug dealers, man. All right. You got Jake over here being wicked too, man. The hoods, ghettos, and these, um, what's them things called, man? Where they got Gad and Reuben. What's them things called? Reservations, man. Let's get let's get some more. I know it's somewhere in here. What was it? Trust and oppression, man. Something like that. Let's see. Psalm sixty two and ten. Trust not in oppression and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. Isaiah 30 and 12. Wherefore it thus said Yahweh, the Holy One of Yasharala, all right? Wherefore it thus say the Holy One of Yasharala, because ye despise his word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. Let's get that. And what's that? It's a it's a term they made for this, man, for trusting in oppression. What's it called? I think it's called Stockholm Syndrome, man. Let me look that up real quick. I think that I think that's what it is when you trust in oppression, man. Stockholm, let me Google that, Stockholm Syndrome, Stockholm Syndrome, feelings of trust or affection felt in many cases of kidnapping or hostage taking by a victim toward the captor, yep, that's, that's what trust and oppression is, verse 13, therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose Breaking cometh suddenly at an instance, man. And Babylon gonna be taken out, man. Esau gonna fall, man. It's gonna be like he was never at the top, man. It's gonna be like he was never at the top, man. All right? Like he was never there. Let's hit up. Let's get... Um, go to the book of Luke 21. Uh, Luke 21. Scroll. Just gonna scroll. Luke 21. Let's see if I can get the red letter on this. Let's see. All right. Yeah, I was shot. Luke 21 and 13. And it shall turn. Hold on. All right. So lock it. And it shall turn to you for a testimony. That was verse 13, verse 14. Settle it therefore in your hearts, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Do you understand? All right? These holy scriptures, the truth of the holy Bible, okay? All right? Speaking this truth, breaking down the scriptures properly, not these fucking Edomites and these other heathens with their bullshit, okay? When you speak these truth, this truth, you cannot gainsay 
Why can you not game save it, man? Because it's Yahweh by Shem and Hashem, man. They're not liars. They don't contradict themselves. None of the above. They're all knowing and all powerful, man. Or I should say just Yahweh was all, all knowing, right? Because Yahweh shy, all right? Doesn't know everything, all right? But let's get the Strongs there, and I will prove that Yahweh shy does not know everything, um, all right? Let's get, go to that game say. Let's just break down what that game say mean right there, right? To speak against, to refute, or deny, right? You can't deny this. And by deny, let's just look up the definition of deny on Google and see if it's proper to what is being used in this in this um definition of gain say what it means when you transfer it to that English. State that one refuses to admit the truth or existence of. I mean, nah, man. You can't you can't you can't refuse I mean you can refuse this but you can't let's go back to it you can't uh you can't disprove it you can run from it you can't really speak against it nah you can't speak against this truth man you can deny it for sure you can deny it but that just makes you retarded man that makes you that means you you got cut so bad but you can't say it's a lie because that would be a lie. Because you know it's the truth. That's why you're denying it, man. But yeah, man, you can't gain saying this truth, man. Point blank, period. Now let's get up. Let's get that that Yahweh Shah just don't know everything. Just to prove the point. Right? Matthew 24 and 36. Matthew 24 and 26. 36. Matthew 24 and 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. All right? That's, who's that speaking? Yeah, was Shah speaking, right? So, all right then, man. I just proved the point. Let's, let's hit up incredulity. Let me double check. Yeah, I think I spelled it right. Shit. I think I did. Let me see. I don't think I spelled that shit right. Actually, I did, but unfortunately, not unfortunately. I think it's, this is just in the apocrypha. So, unfortunately, I do have to respell that word, man. And, you know. I ain't into the, I ain't no spelling bee. <laughs> I ain't on all that, man. I ain't gonna lie. Let's, let's get that. Oh, man. But fuck Esau, too, man. You know? Fuck these Edomites, man. I can't wait till this shit crumble, man. I think I'm spelling incredulity wrong. Let me see. You know what? Fuck that, man. I ain't feeling Make this shit longer than it has to be, man. All right, cool. Ah, oh, shit, I was spelling it right, man. Man, fucking Esau, man. Blame fucking Esau, bitch ass, man, because all this shit his fault, man. These fucking Edomites, man. Second Ezra 15 and 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee and speak against thee, man. And that goes in them denying this truth, man. Incredulity means the state of being unwilling or unable to believe something. That's the spirit, because guess what? That matches up exactly with denying. Call Allah, Allah, Yahweh, Bashar, and Bashar for that, man. And that's what these two-thirds, Esau and these heathens, man, are, um... Are, are on, man, because it's the elect versus everybody else, man. We we got, like, what? The elect is the smallest force, you could say, on this planet. That's really a threat. Like, no other army that's a threat is smaller than the elect, man. The elect, starting with the 144, I should say, right? Because you still got the one-third, 
that's probably going to be, you know, in the millions, you know, maybe even billions. You never know, right? But with this, with these scriptures, man, and with this truth, we're unstoppable, man. We're unstoppable when that spiritual power really level up, man. With the healing and creating food out of thin air and, you know, put a seed in the ground and touch the dirt where the seed is and a, a tree start growing. You grew a, uh, you grew a um, five-year apple tree in five seconds, you know, stuff like that. And manipulating the elements, you know, you know, like, you know, you, you, you create spears of wind. Or some stuff like that, like you know on Black Clover, you know, you know, typical spiritual power stuff that the elect gonna do out here, man. When when all that stuff start happening, man, and Elohim coming down, people gonna see the whole everybody. Like right now, everybody don't really see what what's happening. The you people not really paying attention. They they going about surviving and having fun and all that, right? But when Jacob's trouble pop out, and the elect Jeremiah 30 and 8, I believe, or 39, where it says they gonna, we're going to break the bonds of these Edomites, man. And the whole world going to see who we are. Then shall it be known who are my chosen. I'm going to get that. All right, once that pop off, this is GG, man. The whole world going to see. Starting with these Edomites, man. And then that's when everybody's going to, you know, start submitting themselves to the Israelites. Let's get... Known chosen. Wait, before I do that. All right. And before I do that, go over here. I'm in that off on that. In second Esdras. Believe is in second Esdras. Let's type in unfaith. Fullness. Uh, okay. And I spelt that shit wrong too, didn't I? Seems like I did. <gasps> Jalaki. Type in faith. Maybe need to hop back on the Estrus. See. Yeah, man. Let's go back over here. Um let's get it. Let's just get that what I was looking for. Uh, second Ezra sixteen. Okay. Let's go to the chapter and scroll up a little bit. Second Ezra 16 and 72. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. So that's Jacob's trouble. That's some that's the beginning stages of the apocalypse, pretty much. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. So when the apocalypse really kick off, that's when the elect are gonna be known. Who, who, who are the elect, which is going to be so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and a speckled bird. And they shall be tried as a gold in the fire. And that being tried is surviving Jacob's trouble, which is what what mainstream media calls in these movies the apocalypse, right? Hear ye, my beloved, and saith Yahweh, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I'll deliver you from the same. All right? And guess what? Be ye not afraid, neither doubt for Yahweh is your God. We have the ultimate guide. Your hopeful lake have the ultimate guide. 76. And the God of them who keep my commandments. So guess what? You got to keep the commandments and precepts, saith Yahweh the most high. Let not your sins weigh you down. That's right, man, because we're going to sin. 
We can't not sin until we get them new bodies. And let not your iniquities lift up themselves. So iniquity is sin upon sin. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sin. So if you're bound to your sin, woe, man, that means destruction. And cover with their iniquities, like as a field is covered with bushes. And the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. All right? So that means you screw. <laughs> it is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed there in that fire, man. That represents them nukes. Them hot nukes, man. I'm going to end this off on 2 Ezra 15 from the top, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. And that's what I'm doing, man, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Most High, man. I'm doing this through the will and power and spirit of Yahweh Bashem and Hashem. I'm not doing this on my own, man. It caused them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, said the Most High, I will bring plagues unto, upon the world. Sword, right? Modern day sword is gun. And yes, when the bullets run out and we're in certain areas, it will be swords and you know, typical Mad Max apocalyptic movie weapons, right? Famine, that's kicking up death and destruction, right? Call Halim La Yahweh by Shemri Al Shai, by Shemri Kakadash, and double honors to Ezra's apostle, Great Moonstone. Shalom.